Do you know that hydroponic farming consumes 70 to 90% less water compared to conventional farming in soil? In hydroponic cultivation, the nutrient-rich water are directly provided to the roots of the plant which are grown in the grow channels. So now this eliminates a lot of factors such as uh, evaporation, then seepage of water inside the soil, absorption by unwanted plants, all these enables hydroponic to use lesser water hydroponic providing a lot of advantages such as space efficiency faster growth and higher yield conservation of water requirement of very less labor all these factors are going to attract a lot of youths or urban growers in the coming days hydroponic system which can accommodate around 20 to 50 plants can provide a family with continuous supply of fresh vegetables throughout the year in this video we are going to show you how much amount of water is being absorbed by a small hydroponic system which can accommodate 24 plants. Please watch till the end. Hi, I'm Lars Ramones and I'm a student of CHF under Central Agricultural University. And uh, we are being uh, attached here uh, at Urban Farms Manipur under our industrial placement program. And uh, so this is the structure uh, I'm going to be dealing with to study on how much water is being absorbed by the plants uh, currently grown here that's bok choy so uh, we'll work on that so this is how the transplanting was done uh, we transplanted the plants in two stages some plants were 17 days old while some plants were 23 days old this is a 17 days old plant and they are planted in the top two tiers while this is the 23 days old plant which are planted in the bottom two tiers so the structure is called the deep flow technique or the DFT type of structure. So a pump has been submerged here and then uh, the water will be circulating on its own. Here uh, nutrients in required concentrations are added to support proper plant growth. And how this structure works is the nutrient media is circulated throughout the system with the help of the submergible pump. Uh, the media is pumped up to the top tire and then it is let to run down through the system through the connected pipes. The media is then drawn out from the last tire. This DFT structure has a reducer at its end of the pipe, which helps reduce the circumference of the pipe, allowing to maintain 2 to 3 cm water level inside the pipe. This helps the roots of the plant to support itself even when the pump is off. This DFT structure also uses a net cup which holds the root together preventing the basal portion to get completely submerged into the water. And this small area is what's required to set up the DFT system. So and today is the 14th day after the setup of this structure and as you can see the plants grown in the structure they are uh, transplanted on the same day despite the difference in their growth because when transplanted the plants in this bottom two layer they were uh, 23 days old and these plants up here they were uh, 16, uh, 17, 16 to 17 days old so there was a difference of 6 days between them and uh, this was the stage when the plants in the bottom layer they were transplanted so uh, during the span of this uh, 10 days you can see the significant uh, increase in the and this is how the plants are doing after 23 days of transplanting now coming to the current scenario the population of the world is increasing at a very fast rate and natural resources like land and water are depleting and uh, because of urbanization cultivation space for kitchen garden or any other purposes is becoming nil so procuring fresh vegetable is out of question and as far as cultivation go for small space Potting mixture is a great substitute as a growing substrate, but the hurdles of regular watering, handling, its cost, and it being degradable, repotting and maintenance is necessary for it to provide desirable plant growth. But in case of hydroponics, which can also be accommodated on a terrace in a small urbanized area, vertical farming, which is the practice of growing crops in vertically stacked layer, can be utilized and can prove helpful for small space hobby grower. And in hydroponics, water consumption is extremely low compared to any other system of cultivation. Besides uh, water uses, precision farming, where the nutrient media in precise concentration is added, can be maintained according to the type of plant and its requirement. So to support these points, uh, let us take a look in my case study here. 
uh, in this hydroponic system I'm dealing with the initial level of water when the structure was set up was 40 liter and in the coming days the plants were performing well and slight changes in the water level can be seen so this was the growth we saw after 10 days without much maintenance but the pH and the TDS needs checking from time to time the TDS is maintained from 900 to 1300 ppm while the pH from 5.5 to 6.5 so on the 17th day to manage the pH and TDS we added 6 more liter of plain water so the water amounts to 46 liters and on the 25th day around the end of my internship program uh, we removed the plants from the structure and we measured the remaining water in the barrel and the remaining water was 22 liters so in the span of 25 days the whole structure consumed total of 24 liters and as a conclusion hydroponics is the future of urban farming and small space hobby growers proving helpful in providing healthy and fresh vegetables